you are playing a game in your PC and you see of your FPS counter and it's running perfectly fine, it's about 60 FPS and everything looks fine, but you are having some strange behavior in your game itself, some frames like skip and this doesn't feel as smooth as it should be. That is what is called micro stutter and this can happen because of a lot of different things so I'm going to show you some ways that you can try to fix that. Now sometimes it's not possible, maybe because of the coding of the game, it's not really good optimized, or the hardware that you have in your PC. But I'm going to try to show you guys how you can alleviate that problem. The first thing that we can try to do is to update our GPU drivers. Now there are a bunch of different ways how to do that. I'm going to show you inside of Windows, because it's one of the most universal ones. I don't have to show you for every different GPU manufacturer. So right click into the start button and you want to open the device manager. Once you are into the device manager, you want to click where you see display adapters and expand that menu. Right here is going to be the GPU of your PC. Right click into it and select properties. Go into the driver tab and you want to click where you see update driver. Search automatically for drivers. The best driver for your device is already installed then it's all good. If the problems and the micro stutter started to happen after you have updated your graphic drivers, you have the option to roll back your drivers right here. In my case, it's disabled, but if you have it enabled, you can click it and roll back to a previous version of the drivers. If this option is not available, like I don't have it right here, and you need to use an old one, you can go into the website of your manufacturer and there search for the drivers and search for an older version. The second option is going to be to disable some background apps. And to do that, right click into the start button and you want to open the task manager. Once you have the task manager open, right here you're going to see all the applications that you have open and working right now. Now, if you see that any one of them is using a lot of your CPU, your memory or anything else, and you don't really need to have it open while you're gaming, you can right click into it and to select end task. Now it's going to alleviate a little bit the load in your PC. Another thing that can really help you is to turn on if your monitor is compatible VSync or FreeSync. Now to do that it's going to be different from AMD or Nvidia, but it's around the same. You want to open your control panel of the graphic cards that you have. In my case it's Nvidia. So you want to right click anywhere empty on your desktop, select the show more options and right here I have the Nvidia control panel or you're going to have one option for AMD. Click on it. Now again, I cannot show you guys directly in AMD because I don't have an AMD graphic card, but if you click into Manage 3D Settings, in the case of Nvidia, and you scroll a little bit down, you're going to see right here the vertical sync, and you can use this in the 3D application settings. That's why I don't show you in AMD because you can also show it inside of your game. Now I recommend you to do this because if your GPU can output a lot of more frames than what your monitor is available to show, it's going to add a lot of load into your CPU and GPU that you don't really need to have it. And if your CPU is a little bit weaker, it's going to, let's say, start to have problems to catch up to all the frames that the GPU is sending to it. Now, one last option that you can do is that you want to change the settings inside of your game, maybe lower them a little bit, and play a little bit with all of the settings or you can look into YouTube or Google for a video to show you the best settings for the game that you are currently playing. And guys, I really hope this video has helped you. If it did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials, reviews and everything else. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.